Hello. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Please, please, please. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the leadership of this university, I want to welcome you most heartily to the grand finale of our 2013, 2023 rather, convocation ceremonies. This celebration started last week Friday with Juma service. We have had a lot of activities since then, including a most elucidating and informative convocation lecture yesterday by His Excellency Chief Emeka Ayoku. Today is the grand finale. You are most heartily welcome. In a moment from now, the procession will file in, and as is customary, we are all requested to be upstanding. Abu Adban, procession has commenced. Thank you. <laughs> We are expected to stand up to receive the procession. Graduate students, please let's be on our feet to receive the procession. That is the tradition. Thank you.
Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the founder of this university, Ariafe Balola, his wife, the Yale Mudukwe Balola, and the leadership of the university, I want to welcome everyone in the hall this morning to the 11th convocation ceremony of our university. That we are here today is not by accident, but by the special grace of God. And as time goes on, during this solemn celebration, we will get to know more about what we are talking about this morning. So, said the Bible, really distinguished ladies and gentlemen, still in the spirit of standing, may we have the, the national anthem and the university anthem, both of which will signal the commencement of this convocation ceremony this morning. I thank you. you may have your seat I share your positive sentiment my graduating student distinguished ladies and gentlemen once again you are welcome to the 11th convocation ceremony of our university the best university in Nigeria according to Times Higher Education Impact Rankings. My name is Tunde Olofintila. I am your anchor this morning. To start the ball, really distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you all some of the leaders in the house this morning. The first person I want to present to you, ladies and gentlemen, is the founder of this university, a man of immense talent, a selfless individual, Someone who saw tomorrow yesterday, and that was why he was able to sell all he had to set up this university. Thank God. 
the university has been making waves. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the father of this university, Aria Febalula. Together with him, on the cockpit of this project, talking about his wife, our mother in this community, Yeyare Mudupe Balala, we appreciate you. We have a pro-chancellor in the house, former Minister of Education, Professor Tunde Adeniro. Of course, your VC, our VC is here, Professor Smaranda Olaride. Our Deputy Vice-Chancellor Academic, Professor Damilola Olawi, SAN. <laughs> Professor Sylvester Ujua, Deputy Vice-Chancellor Administration, you are welcome, sir. <laughs> the University Brosa, Pastor Mudukwe Bawalala, we appreciate you. <laughs> the University Librarian, Mrs. Roslyn Zubaro. The mobile encyclopedia of our multi-system hospital, Dr. Kola Waleo Gudipe. And the pilot of the project for today, the registrar, Lady Christy Oluborode. I welcome all members of the board of trustees. I, want, I don't want to be naming you one after the other. All our council members. All our provosts, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in particular, I want to welcome His Excellency, the governor of the, the way-making governor of Ekiti State, Mr. Biodun Abayomi. Your Excellency, a bow for bow. We have in the house, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the host royal father, the Ewe of Adwekiti, Oba Rufus Adeyemo Adejube. You welcome, Kabeesi. <laughs> the chairman of Ekiti Council of Obas is right here with us with a retinue of Obas. I'm talking about the Ulojudo of Ido. You are welcome, Kabeesi, and all the royal fathers in the house. <laughs> The royal fathers in the house are not limited to Ekiti alone. We have them from across the Niger. We have in our midst the Emir of Lafia, the Emir of Lafia, who will be, as time goes on, you will see what will happen to him on a pleasant note. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you His Royal Majesty, Honorable Justice Sidi Bage Mohammed. You are welcome, Kami. All the way from Lafia, he came with a retinue of other royal fathers. We have with us His Royal Majesty Aliu Onawo Oga Oon and Duma of Duma. You are welcome, sir. His Royal Majesty Isa Abubaka, Isa Emir of Awe. His Royal Majesty Alaji Umar, Emir of Shabu. His Royal Majesty Balarabi Musa, Emir of Dadari. And his Royal Majesty Umar Suleiman Saki Akiri. Of course, there is a representative of the state government here, the SSG from that state is here with us, Alaji Aliu Mba Duma. You are welcome, sir. Our friends from the diplomatic service, we appreciate you. The visiting vice chancellors, we appreciate you. Our friends from the military, led by General Taguba, we appreciate you. Our dear parents, we are here to rejoice with you today. Please let's celebrate our parents. You are heartily welcome. <laughs> and of course, the reason why we are here today, the graduate student, <laughs> celebrate yourself. You are heartily welcome. Thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Having done that, may I invite
May I invite the registrar to please take over from here. The registrar, ma'am. Chancellor, sir, the Affair Babalala University Law of 2010 empowers the university to hold convocation for the conferment of degrees and award of prizes. I therefore humbly invite the Chancellor to constitute the assembly as convocation of Affair Babalala University Adoekiti for the purpose of conferment of honorary degrees award of higher degrees, award of first degrees, and presentation of prizes to deserving persons as approved by Senate and Council. Chancellor, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, by the powers confirmed on me by the University Statute as a Chancellor of Afibala University and Chairman Board of Trustees, I now declare this assembly, the Congregation University, as duly considered for the purpose of the confirmation of honorary degrees award of higher degrees, award of first degrees, and the presentation of prizes of Afibala University to the serving students. God bless you all. <laughs> I have the honor and privilege to call upon the Vice Chancellor to deliver her welcome address. The Vice Chancellor, ma'am. <laughs> What an amazing good morning. The dawn of a new era. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, our beloved students. I ask for permission from our, from our Chancellor to adopt the already well established protocol. On behalf of our Funder and Chancellor, Alre Afe Emmanuel Babalola, OFR, CON, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Fellow Chartered Institute of Arbitrators, FNAIS, LLD Honoris Causa London. <clears throat> LLD Honoris Causa Unilag, LLD Honoris Causa Unijos. LLD Honoris Casa United, LLD Honoris Casa KS, KSU, etc., etc. And his amiable wife, Ye Ye Are Modupe Babalola, FSM, FNIMN, FFPA, the Board of Trustees, the Governing Council, the Senate, staff, and students of Afe Babalola University, Adoikiti. I warmly welcome you all to the grand finale of our 11th convocation ceremonies. We thank God for your safe arrival. We equally thank God that we are here better and greater than we, are he we were last year. 
After all, your university, our university, was ranked by the high, highly respected Global Times Higher Education Impact Ranking as number one out of 220 universities in Nigeria and number 321 globally last year, 2022. But today, the same world ranking body has again ranked our university as number one in Nigeria and number 221 globally. What an achievement. In addition, and as part of justifying our leadership status in the county of Nigerian universities, we consummated three commendable international partnerships and collaborations with three reputable institutions just within this year. Namely, John Hopkins Hospital, United States of America, King's College London, United Kingdom, and Trinity Western University, Canada. This is just the beginning. Many more are on the way in the years ahead as we will be going through from coast to coast, from continent to continent, to demonstrate quality, functional, and impactful education. Indeed, this is the dawn of a new era in education in Nigeria, and I believe beyond. This year's convocation celebration flagged off on Friday, October 13, with a Juma service, followed with sporting activities. On Sunday, October 15, 2023, we had the Anglican Bishop of Ekiti Diocese, His Lordship, Reverend Andrew Olushola Ajayi, preaching at the convocation Thanksgiving service. The following days during the week were filled with series on induction of induction of our own students. In the following programs, computer science, medical laboratory science, engineering, and law graduates. They were inducted in their various professional bodies. An international dimension was added on Thursday, October 19, 2023, with the maiden edition of Afe Babalola University at Ikiti, Nigeria, and Trinity Western University, Canada, through the 2023 International Conference on Global Leadership and Governance for Sustainable Change and Wealth Creation. <clears throat> the convocation lecture, titled Management of Diversity, a Major Challenge in Pluralistic Countries, was eloquently delivered yesterday by His Excellency, Chief Emeka Yago. Please give him a round of applause here. He's here with us in the audience. A very seasoned diplomat, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, and a global citizen. <clears throat> we give glory to God and kudos to all stakeholders, including our regulatory bodies, such as the National University Commission, and all the professional bodies. We also thank our com committed staff, our beloved students, and of course, you, our dear parents, for making it possible. <clears throat> it is through the collective efforts of all of you that the university has been enjoined in unblemished record of a continuous and predictable academic calendar. <clears throat> the 2023 convocation, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are graduating today 1,668 students. <clears throat> Made up of all of you, the undergraduate students, and of 1,000 and the students, postgraduate students. 1,418 students on the graduate level 
and 209 students at our postgraduate level. In addition, honorary degrees shall be awarded today to three eminent personalities of this country. And for his Royal Highness, Honorable Justice C.D. Baje Mohammed I, CFR, Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria retired, FCI arbitration, FCIM, FHSN, the 17 EMIA, Lafiar Barebari, and Chairman Nasarewa State Council of Chiefs. The second honorary degree shall be awarded to His Excellency, Chief Emeka Ayakum, GCON, GCBO, CFR, two term Secretary General of the Commonwealth, the Global Citizen. The third honorary degree shall be awarded to Dr. Mrs. Victoria Adunola, Samson, Managing Director of POVAS and Company Limited a leading marketer of petroleum products in Nigeria, as well where very few women dare to venture. It is appropriate to emphasize the place of importance of honorary degrees. The glamour of honorary degrees anywhere in the world is that they are awarded to persons who are deserving, having ex excelled in character, valuable application of intellect, and academic excellence. In many cases, honorary degrees are rated high since so many parameters, other than academic excellence, are also considered before they are bestowed on person serving them. I congratulate the trio of His Excellency, Chief Mekayaku, his Royal Highness Justice City Baje Mohammed I and Mrs. Victoria Adola Samson. Please give them a round of applause. They all deserve to be celebrated. And on behalf of the entire Afe Babalola University com community, I welcome them into the Abwat family. A peace setter and the fastest growing university on the continent. The graduation breakdown. The high points of this year's graduation ceremony is the graduation of 1,668 students, made up of 1,459 bachelors and 209 postgraduate students. The tables follows. And it's clearly displaced, and I will rush through it very briefly. Engineering, College of Engineering, is graduating a total of 414 students, out of whom 43 students shall be awarded a first class degree. In law, 20 <clears throat> in law 26 students out of 187 students are having first class class degrees. In the College of Medicine and Health Sciences, out of 289 students without the MBBS program, we have 15 students with first class. While in sciences, 13 students out of 152 students are obtaining first class degrees. In social and management sciences, 42, 44 students are obtaining first class degrees out of 288 students. At PG, we have 209 students. We congratulate you. Why part time is bringing forth six students for graduation. The total exclude the 123 students in medicine and surgery program. Best graduating student, and this is the highlight you have been waiting so anxiously. I will take them 
college by college, college of law. In college of law, we have Uwagbe, Isiosa, Adalga. She is a female student from Edo State with 4.90. College of Engineering. We have Obi Obuaha, a male student from River State. CGPA 4.93 from Mechatronics Engineering Department. College of Medicine and Health Sciences. We have Anusi Patrick. Patrick is from Delta State, a male student with a 4.87, and he is from nursing program. College of Sciences. We have Aranoshola Grace Oluandunsi, the female student from Kwara State who is from Agric Sciences with a 4.97 CGPA, the best student in this 2023 graduating set. Let me continue at postgraduate level, the best students. We have Ayorinde Ebenezer, who has obtained a CGPA of 5.0. He is from Ekiti State, and he is from the Department of Finance. Why Adebolu Olode, who is from Oshun State, the female student, equally brilliant with 5.0 international relations and diplomacy. <clears throat> Once again, I want to reemphasize that the best student, graduating student, both female and overall, is our own. Aronishola Grace Olua Dunsi. Once again, she shall fill the basket of good foods, processed foods, through her expertise in agricultural sciences. The next table is a breaks down the convocation in Abwat from 2013 to 2023. I won't go into the details. However, it is displayed on the screen. We have graduated. In 2013, we had only two programs with 103 graduating students. 2014, we had 338 students. 2015, 737 students. 2016, 991 students. 2017, 910 students. 2018, 1,043 students. Despite of COVID, in 2019, we graduated 1,183 students. And in 2020, 1,280 students. 2021, our graduating number has increased to 1,384 students. Last year, we had 1,673 students, and this year, 1,668 students. I congratulate all of you, Class 2023, Afe Babalola University. Now a word to our graduates. <clears throat> Today, we are in the dynamic world that is referred to as the Buka world where V stands for volatility, U for uncertainty, C for complexity, and A for ambiguity. By this, the world demands you to react quickly to ongoing changes that are unpredictable and out of your control and require you to take action with certainty why the interdependencies in the dynamics will translate to ma making the environment very unfamiliar and definitely outside your expertise. Therefore, I want to remind you that the university has rightly groomed you with the ability to have a clear vision of the environment and the capacity to understand the environment's uncertainties 
with clarity, as well as the agility to quickly respond to its immediate needs. I congratulate you. I am encouraging you not to rest on your oars. Do not sit back and complain when you encounter some new challenges in your endeavors. Challenges are necessary and sufficient platforms for your rise. The more challenges you overcome, the more opportunities that will come your way. Use this fourth industrial revolution together with the artificial intelligence and digitalization as leverage to further develop yourself. Use the instrument of a massive open online course, which you all know, MOOC, to learn more about some other areas of life that will continually position you for better competitive advantage. As incredible as it may sound, your smart devices are veritable tools for your greatness. If you can use them for value addition. So many life impacting resources are embedded in the internet, which you can unlock with the use of your smart devices. The more open educational resources we are technology you are able to consume, the better for your greatness. I wish you would be great. As you are going into the labor market, for you, our ABOA students, it shall be the favor market. You should be conscious of the present day socioeconomic and political challenges facing our country. My candid advice is for you to see yourself as a problem solver who will utilize the power of innovation via critical thinking to provide solutions to the myriad of challenges facing our dear nation and the world. Go out there and manifest. The world is earnestly waiting for your manifestation of good exploits. Position yourself to be at the forefront of providing sustainable solutions, not only to Nigeria, but also to the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals that Abwad is noted and ranked as number one in Nigeria. Lastly, Abwad cannot wait to have you been decorated with the Nobel Prizes. Your time and space is now. This can only be achieved by the quantum of efforts required to deepen the knowledge base through innovative problem solving in every facet of life. In the words of our great chancellor, Areafe Emmanuel Babalola, <clears throat> I quote him, a new set of leaders are graduating today and the change for a transformative, visionary and patriotic leadership has, be has begun here at Afe Babalola University at Doikiti with you, our graduates. <clears throat> as our chancellor's reputation, name and achievements travels ahead of him, may you also inherit his formidable legacy. Appreciations. In our founders' chancellors are re after Babalola's words. I quote again, we are training future leaders who have character and who will change our country. A new Nigeria has begun here at the Afe Babalola University. I thank God Almighty for allowing us to be part of this momentous occasion. I thank members of the Board of Trustees, Governing Council, Principal Officers, Provosts of Colleges, Directors, Heads of Units and Staff for their unflicting support. The students equally deserve to be appreciated for allowing us to mentor, teach, tutor, and develop them to this level. The students who are yet to graduate should remember that perseverance, endure, endurance, obedience, and hard work, I will repeat it, and hard work 
what will bring their own days of celebration into fruition. We appreciate all the visiting vice chancellors, rectors, and provosts who are here to rejoice with us as already expressed in their respective goodwill messages. We appreciate the family members of our beloved funder, the staff of Emmanuel Chambers, Ibadan Lagos Abuja, staff of Afeba Balola International Study Center, Ibadan, the National Universities Commission, NUC, Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, several other agencies that are too numerous for me to name them one by one to the time limit I have. The support of the media cannot be overemphasized. I'm most grateful to the members of ceremonies committee of our universities, which was so ably led by Professor Ademola Aziz. All those who have traveled from far and near to share the joy of today with us are also appreciated, particularly our joyful parents and guardians of the lucky graduating students, we celebrate you. We appreciate the support of alumni. They have been good ambassadors of the university. Your love for your alma mater is highly commendable. In the same way, I express the appreciation of the governing council and management to all staff and students with tireless support Unloyed cooperation and settler contributions have culminated in the success and joy of today. And permit me to single out our own governor, His Excellency, the, our own governor of Ekiti State, who never missed one of important occasion He's, since his resumption at the as governor of this state. We thank you, Your Excellency. We appreciate you and we honor you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are glad, grateful for your presence and wish you all the best. God bless you all. Thank you for your kind attention. <laughs> I respectfully invite the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Council to address the convocation. <laughs> Our dear Governor, Your Excellencies, all our very special guests from all over, particularly our traditional rulers, parents, and the media, we celebrate you, our students who are graduating today. On behalf of the Founder and Chancellor, and Yeyeare, and the Council, I wish to use this opportunity to convey to you the reality that the world and our dear country, Nigeria, are currently going through various challenges, and so are the institutions of higher learning, but Afe Babalola University, Adoikiti Abad, has risen up to the challenges. It is therefore a great privilege and joy for me as the post chancellor and chairman of the governing council of this great institution to welcome and also to congratulate the graduating students and the proud parents, friends, and well wishers to the 11th Convocation and 14th Founders Day ceremonies. In line with the academic traditions worldwide, the annual convocation ceremony at Abuad is a joyous occasion to formally celebrate the remarkable success stories and hard work of our graduating students who have been found worthy in character and learning to receive their degrees and diplomas in 
and it is also a solemn occasion to recognize the giant strides of our faculty members, researchers, and the university management team whose relentless pursuit of excellence, unwavering dedication, and resourceful commitment continue to propel upward as the reference point benchmark the fastest growing university in Nigeria and as an internationally engaged world-class university. Over the past 12 months, global recognition and accolades, as you have heard, have continued to pour in for a great institution. Earlier this year, Abuad was again ranked the best university in Nigeria and by the Times Higher Education Ranking, making Abuad the leader in Nigeria for two consecutive years and among the top 100 universities in the world. In September this year, we also celebrated another milestone recognition by Africa Academia Awards, which named Abuad as the best private university in aeronautics and astronomical engineering. These groundbreaking international recognitions are bright symbols that we are drawing attention to because of their significance. At the 10th convocation ceremony last year, I expressed the absolute commitment of the governing council to continue to discharge its responsibility and important mandate of providing strategic academic guidance, policies, and regulations to enhance the delivery of forwarding of forward-thinking academic programs and high-impact research across Abuad. Over the last year, the Council has doubled its efforts in this regard. The Council has considered and approved policies relating to faculty promotion and retention in line with global best practices. The dissemination of innovative research conducted at Abuad to a worldwide audience in top-ranking and Scopus index journals. The whole world is today enthralled and amazed by the remarkable success story of a highly revered father, founder, and chancellor, Arefe Babalola, who despite his own humble beginnings, we all know has single-handedly committed his experience, time, financial resources to build this institution. We salute him on this occasion, and we hope that our graduating students and those who have come to celebrate will learn something from the experience of this single, individual, unique, special genius. However, I only have a few we would like to stress have embraced the founder's legacy of philanthropy, endowments, and grants to universities. Aria Febalola's philosophy of giving to education did not start here, we know. It started way back, even before he became the, uh, the pro-chancellor of the University of Lagos. Because before then, he had been supporting various universities. And it is our expectation that others will also rally around and show upward that indeed they appreciate what the founder stands for and what has been happening here. Like Aria Febalola, each of us must be resolute and committed to playing our own part in defining a better future for our society and nation. Our graduates of today must also be resolute to rise above the temptation of mediocrity. With the rise of artificial intelligence, the labor market is changing. It is becoming more and more global, technology-driven, and competitive. We are indeed confident that you, as you are going out, have received the best education from the best university to be the best wherever you find yourself. So please, counsel is urging you to settle down and to settle for less. Your proud, uh, uh, not to settle for less. Your proud parents, your family, and yourselves have overcome several difficulties for you to be here today. If you continue to develop yourselves and work as hard as you have done for so far to earn a degree, it is a belief that you will be able in no time to achieve your career aims of building a better world. May God continue to give you the courage, the wisdom, and the humility to be the very best and to remain at the very top when you go out. My address, however, will not be complete without expressing sincere gratitude to the entire university management on behalf of council and also, of course, my governing council members for the dedication that they have 
in promoting and supporting the vision that the founder has for Abad. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we again thank you all for your continued faith in Abad. And we wish you journey mercies by the time you go back to your various destinations after this ceremony. May God Almighty bless you all. Thank you. <laughs> I will appreciate absolute silence in this auditorium, please. No walking around. There's a seat for everybody to sit down. Thank you. I have the greatest honor and privilege to respectfully invite the Chancellor, Are Afeba Palola, to the podium. <laughs> everybody a happy day indeed I was very happy and I was moved when we sang the upward anthem for the past 11 years I've never seen such a rousing sentimental applause. And that joyful pronouncement came from this side of the hall. And as if you are not part of it, you did not join them. That is those on the left side side. Are you happy or not? Today I'm very happy. Your parents are there watching you. And we have important people from all parts of this country joining us on this joyous occasion. And I want to stop a little because I can see one of your greatest admirers in the person of the honor of Ife coming in. Give me a round of applause. For the honor of Ife. But those of you who are lawyers know what is called res ipsa loquito. Means, which means the thing speaks for itself. We know what the road or the roads in Nigeria are like. Sir, I'm sorry you have to go that through bad road. And I know and I put up a defense on your behalf. That is because of the bad road that you were late. 
You are forgiven, sir. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to adopt the existing protocol, but it will not be fair if I do not mention in particular that supportive governor of my state. Governor Biodo Abayomi Oyibanji, a.k.a. Bao. I greet all the royal fathers here. And in particular, I want to pay special tribute to those people who have traveled from far away Vancouver in Canada where people there right now are sleeping about eight hours behind us. I have in particular, I want to refer to Dr. Laird. See around? Please hand up, give him a round of applause. He and Dr. George came all the way from Vancouver to be part of this ceremony. Give them a round of applause, please. Sound, sounding one, too. I'm sure when they go back to Canada, they will have something to say about us. I've been in Vancouver myself, and I can compare my university with theirs. I want to pay special tribute to another important world citizen who is here to be part of this ceremony, but who is going to be given an award for his contribution to nationhood. His name is His Excellency Chief Emeka Ayoku, GCON, GCVO, CFR, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, who delivered a most impressive and educative convocation lecture yesterday. Over the years, I've heard and listened to lectures. To me, this, is the, this was the best lecture I've ever listened to. Please rise, rise up, let us know you. It says, let's make a yoku. Stand up for your recognition, please. Give me a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you. He has traveled throughout the world and there was appointed the Secretary General of the Commonwealth for many years. I'm going to circulate a copy of the lecture to the Department of International Relations. I also want to seize this opportunity to introduce to you the former Justice of Supreme Court, retired, forced to retire because he still had many years more on the bench when his people want him to become the Emma of Lafia. Please stand up for recognition, sir. <laughs> and lastly, but not the least, we have decided to honor a woman who is a most successful business lady. She's highly qualified, but like I told you, she chose to be an entrepreneur. Her name is Mrs. Victoria Donla Samson, Managing Director of Bovers. Are you here? Please stand up. Give her, stand up for Pale. Give her a round of applause from that side. Thank you. Thank, you. thank you. I thank the Almighty God 
for bringing you here, for bringing the parents here, for bringing all of you here to witness our 11th convocation ceremony. It has been an unbroken one, and I can beat my chest and tell you there is no university which has had 11 convocation ceremonies in 11 years. We are the only one. <laughs> to my dear parents, I love you. Thank you. I thank you for choosing that board. I told you your four years with four years, your five years with five years. Is it not correct now? Thank you. We thank you for appreciating the value of quality and functional education. We are the only university that offers residential education in this country. For higher education. There is no university where you do not have those living outside. 80%, 30% are living outside. I was the former approach as well the University of Lagos, more than 80% of my students were living outside. And yet, you had the chairman of, of council when he said, services are given for learning and character. How can you guarantee good character for a student who comes in from his house about 9 a.m., tired, and who leaves for his house at 2 o'clock and doesn't come to class on Saturday and Sunday? What character are you guaranteeing? But here, you stay in the hostel, close to the classroom, no use of bicycle or, or any car, and they study throughout the day and night, and the teachers are there with, with the, in the night. We are able to monitor them. Even when their father or mother dies, we say, look, your parents will take care of the, uh, the dead. Remain here and study. This is why you are here. And so when they come out, they are not only trained in learning, but they are well trained in character. And I say we are the only people trained students in learning and character. I will deal with that later. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Now to my graduating students. Stand up. You have been sitting for a long time. All stand up. Turn to your parents and say, thank you, 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 thank you. Now, sit down, my students. Now, a word for you, my students. Today is your day. The success stories of those 
who are graduated before you should challenge you. You have a duty to keep this flag of palliative achievement flying. One of you graduated about six years ago, a lawyer, now in Lagos, has the chambers of more than 10 lawyers. He has his own building as his members. Not only that, he has an estate now in Lagos. But beyond that, he has offices in Dallas. One of you. Give him a round of applause. I've told you, don't mind whether there's economic depression or not. Once you are armed with the certificate from abroad, you are respected by any employer. But beyond that, what we train you, what you are trained for here, it's not only to obtain certificate and go to your parents. Mommy, I have my certificate to do for a job. No. You know what we train you for. It says to use the education which we gave you, to use your hands, and to develop yourself. And be your own employer and employer of others. Even with my own humble beginning, I was so far list of employment. When I got one degree after the other, I said, no, I want to work on my own. And my poor mother, an elite said, go and work. No, no, I say I want to work on my own. If I had stayed in civil service or worked in civil service, I would have retired many, many years back. In fact, I would have been dead long ago. What we taught you, what we have to do after leaving this place, is what you must do. Make your parents proud. Like I told you, you will be better than this poor man. Give a round of applause for that. Who we are, what we are, and the way people see us can be gleaned from the multitude of good women messages from the past presidents past heads of state, former governors, the NUC. Let me stop at that. The NUC representative is here. Augusta Lee will stand up for recognition. Give a round of applause. He's representing the NUC. What uh, you see said about us is Abad is a bank mark. Abad is a reference point. Abad is the leader in education. It's in writing. Correct? Is it not correct? It is. What we need in this country is quality education. When you have quality education, you have power. When you have power, every other thing is submerged. We have given you quality education. We have given you character. And what character means that you are a reliable person, you are a trustworthy person, you are a kind person. You believe in giving, and you are going to be the leader people want. I 
our problem in this country is leadership. A country in Africa is leadership. People believe that when they come out of the university, they should go and work or alternatively go to politics. As I told my audience today, also yesterday, I was the first of the University of Lagos. And there are people from the University of Lagos here who can be a witness to it. A young man came out with first class in chemistry and had the highest score that year. I called him. He said, I'm going to give you a scholarship to do your master's. He was very happy. He agreed. He passed his master's. I forgot a lot about him. Then he came in and said, Sir, thank you for the scholarship you've been to me. I said, Yes, go to proceed to your page. He said, No. Why? He said, My colleague who was in class with me in secondary school. did not go to university. He's the chairman of the local government of my, of my state, of my place. He's riding a car. He has only, he has a house. I was depressed. I said, what do you want to do now? I want to go to politics. Oh. I, went in, I wept inside me. That is what your country has made of Nigeria. The only business in this country today which is lucrative is what? Politics. I do not say you cannot be a politician, but if you are a politician, be different from what you have now. Who think that politics is for making money? Politics is for service. I was a counselor before. I never had a cobble. I was a pro before. I never had a cobble. Because I, will, I see it as service. People go now to make money from public money given to them. You will not be part of these people. And yet you'll be leaders. You'll be leaders like your founder, by the grace of God. You yourself for a round of applause. You agree with me? I can't hear that. My suggestions are, one, I suggest to the federal government to revisit the large number of private universities approved in the last few years and ensure conformity with the rules. I have an AUC here now, member here. Before we started this university, we were required to have a, a piece of land, a plan, and some bridges on the land. And we are giving only two colleges then. Today, what do we have? Gentlemen, parents, we have witnessed the approval of over 100 private universities without following the rules. You could not, in our case, you could not proceed to do law or do engineering on so many years, many years, three, eight years, ten years, and so on. They even give approval now to start a private university with, in the first year to, to study medicine. The first are there. A new university, private university, to start law in the first year. The first are there. I know we do not follow rules. We do not follow laws. That must stop. I'm urging the federal government to look into the private universities and study recently. All of them who have not followed the law should be scrapped. Private universities are special universities 
registered as non-profit universities. In other words, they are not made for profit. Any extra money must be invested in the university. And that is why all the great private universities in America are the best. Enough is enough. I'm going to write a letter about it. You are silent. You should give me a round of applause for my suggestion. <laughs> Secondly, I've said it earlier. How can you mentor a character when a private university allows two thirds of its students to stay outside? Then you are not different from public universities. You go to Yale, you go to Stanford, and other private universities. Only those who can afford it can go there because they know when they come out of that place, they are good in learning, they are good in character, and they are the future leaders. These are the future leaders. We have mentored them. We have educated them. My hope in Nigeria depends on these people. And the more of this type of university you have, the better in the country. Thank you. God bless you. respectfully invite His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Ekiti State, Mr. Biodun Abayomiu Yibanji, to address the Assembly. Your Excellency, sir. Thank you. Don't worry. Well, I know, yeah, I'm okay with this one. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. The Chancellor and the father of the Governor of Equity States. And the father of the state itself. Are Afe Babalola and Yeye Are Afe Babalola. Kabiesi Arule Odua, the owner of Ife. Let me use you, Kapelo Ritain, the Pro Chancellor and Chairman of Governing Council of this phenomenal institution. the Senate, the Vice Chancellor and top management staff of the university, members of faculties, are distinguished honoraries of today. With due respect to His Excellency Chief Emeka Yaoku, Emir of Lafia, 
and Dr. Mrs. Samson, the proud parents, let me, Daddy, as uh, thank you, let me also thank you for choosing our board. Thank you for sponsoring them. God bless you. And to my friends, the celebrant of today, congratulations. You look so beautiful in your graduating attire. God bless you all. But please remember what Daddy said. He said his hope in this country is because of you. And I pray that you be greater than him in the this week. I've almost turned to another graduate of this place, but I come here. I come here nearly every day. It is my pleasure to be here today to be part of the 11th convocation ceremony, which also marks the 13th anniversary. I am the vice chancellor, council, the senate, and university community in general on this occasion for upholding the values of excellence that has distinguished this school as a place of first choice in Nigeria. I want to congratulate all distinguished personalities who have been awarded honorary doc doctoral degrees in recognition of their invaluable and exceptional contributions to the development of humanity in general. To the new graduates, as I congratulate you on your successful completion of your academic program in this university, I want to urge you to be the solution provider to the numerous challenges facing Nigeria and humanity in general. This is more so in terms of job creation. I firmly believe that Abuad has equipped you with the right skill sets that are necessary for you to excel and to be job givers and not job seekers. I charge you to be good ambassador of this university and make your parents and guardians proud of you. Ladies and gentlemen, we understand the challenges that the university currently faces, especially in the respect of the federal road that leads to this place. It is our hope that we soon conclude discussion with the federal authority to, recon to either reconstruct the road or they allow us to do it so that the current agonies that our people face on the road can be eliminated. Finally, I pray for joining masses for everyone who has graced this occasion and I wish the graduates God's guidance and prosperity in their future endeavors. Thank you for listening. God bless you. <laughs> from the fountain of wisdom. I have the greatest honor to respectfully invite His Royal Majesty, Baba Dr. Adeyemo Adejube, Alade Somi III, to address the assembly. Kabye Sisa. Chancellor, the Pro Chancellor, 
and the council members, the vice chancellor of this great university, Kabezi Deoni, and other my brother Kabezi is here. The graduates of today. I congratulate you all. First of all, I thank God Almighty for giving our uh, good health and for giving them the opportunity to excite this university here. As the leader of the host community, we give God the glory today. That Are Afe Babalola as a ambassador, the magician of Ekiti. That's what I call him. Because every day you come here, you meet good things. This time last year you were here, the arrangement was not as superb as this. So I, I, I thank God and I thank my staff too that I'm part of this arrangement. A few minutes ago, when he was addressing you students, he told you that he had high hopes in this country. And I agree with him. Because about 1,668 of you are going to the world today. In other words, I feel about the line in 1,668 houses and homes and countries in the world. So wherever you go, I feel about is there. Is there as highly disciplined person? Is there as the person anything he touches, you expect perfection. People say that a jack of all trades and master of none. But I find our life is a jack of many trades and master of all. So I congratulate you that all of you, minimum of four years you spent here under his mentorship. So I know you are good to go and you'll be an end of our life wherever you go. So I congratulate you. I thank you for bringing this to Adoekiti and it's late for that matter. And I pray for long life for you. A few minutes ago when I was discussing with Kabi Esidi Oni, he was asking, say, Baba, what do you think the age of this Baba? I said the official age is 92, but I know it is more than 92. But I said, if you think what is keeping him going is the fulfillment, your satisfaction. He's happy doing what he's doing here, and that is the secret of his uh, longevity. So, Baba, I congratulate you. You put your all in this university. Where you said you are going to start the university, and you said you are going to rebrand education. Not only that, you put everything you have to do it, to make sure that you are rebranding it. And the whole world is aware now that you are rebranding education. I congratulate you. I only pray for a long life for you. Anytime I see you, I have my conclusion, all of you, that how oh, I wish this man is 50 years younger. But God is God, and He's going to spare your life the most. So I thank God, and I thank all of you for being here today. By the grace of God next year, we are going to be here again. Thank you. God bless you all. <laughs>
Chancellor Sir, as we continue with our goodwill messages, I have the pleasure to call on the representative of the NUC, the National Universities Commission, in person of Dr. Noel Biodun Saliu, who is representing the acting executive secretary of NUC, Dr. Jibril Meyaki. Dr. Saliu, please. Excellency, the Executive Governor of the Kitty State, the Chancellor and Founder at Febaba Law University, please permit me to adopt the already established protocol. I bring you very warm greetings from the Acting Executive Secretary, National Investors Commission, Mr. Chris Mayaki, and uh, he will have loved to be here personally to witness this occasion but he couldn't because of some other official engagement. He has, however, asked that I convey his uh, best wishes for a very successful convocation ceremony. I will just quickly read his good message. On behalf of the management and staff of the National Investors Commission, I expect our warmest congratulations to Afeba Babala University, Adwekiti, on the occasion of his 11th convocation ceremony for the award of first and higher degrees and the presentation of prizes. It is truly a momentous milestone for the graduating students, parents, faculty, and the entire university community. Since its establishment, Afebabola University has consistently demonstrated a commitment to academic excellence, fostering innovation, and producing highly skilled graduates who contribute significantly to national and global development. This dedication to education and growth aligns perfectly with the missions of the National Business Commission and the national policy on education. It is worthy of note that the federal government of Nigeria issued Afe Babala University its provisional licenses to operate as a private university in 2007. The university's growth and development since establishment have been in leaps and bounds. It is important to mention that all the physicist programs spread across the 10 academic disciplines in our board have 100% NUC accreditation. Also worth noting is the very impressive performance of our board in the global university ranking, a feat that is commendable and makes Nigeria proud. The university is encouraged to continue to build on these lofty achievements as a guarantee of quality can only be hinged on continuous quality improvement. As a regulatory agency, the National Universities Commission recognizes the crucial role that universities play in human development and in shaping the future of nations. All over the world, the tripartite mandate of universities revolves around teaching, research, and community development. In the discharge of these mandates, the curriculum occupies a prime position in determining the content and trajectory of knowledge that is impacted on students. As part of its functions bestowed on this by its enabling acts, the NUC coordinated the review of the curriculum of Nigerian universities, a process that started in 2018, leading to the emergence of the core curriculum and minimum academic standards, CCMAS. One of the unique features of the new curriculum is the 7030 NUC university provision on the core courses. With the launch of the 70% CC mass in December 2022 and the development of the 30% component by Nigerian universities, the implementation of the CC mass is expected to have commenced in the 2023-2024 academic session with the 100 level students. Having started the training of academic staff towards the effective implementation of the CC mass, Nigerian universities are enjoined to continue to build the capacities of their staff in modern methods of teaching to deliver on the goals of the CCMAS. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as a quality assurance agency, NUC will continue to work closely with universities to ensure that the highest standards of quality and integrity are maintained in education, research, and other 
uh, academic pursuit. Together, we can create a brighter future and contribute to the overall progress of our society and humanity. On this special convocation, uh, day of convocation, the National Business Commission celebrates the diligence, perseverance, and achievements of the graduating students. The Commission believes that you are well prepared in your respective fields. I enjoin you to continue to fly the flag of upward high as its worthy ambassadors. May the Almighty God crown your future endeavors with resounding success. In the same vein, NEC extends its heartfelt gratitude to the founder and chancellor, Are Afe Babalola, the pro-chancellor and the governing council, the vice chancellor, management, senate, faculty and staff of Abward for their tireless efforts in nurturing these young minds and providing them with a nurturing and conducive learning environment. Your dedication to promoting academic excellence is truly amiable. Once again, Congratulations to the graduating students and best wishes for your future endeavors. We look forward to witnessing your continued success and contribution, contributions to society. Your Excellency, the Chancellor, ladies and gentlemen, I thank you for your attention. Chancellor, sir, in the same mood, I have the honor to call on the representative of the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, Alhaji Hassan Lawa, representing the Registrar of JAM, Professor Ishak Oloide, to deliver his goodwill message. <laughs> Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Ikiti State, uh, Mr. Oyebanji, uh, the Chancellor, founder of Abuad University, and his amiable wife, please permit me to uh, uh, stand on the existing protocol. And let me read the congratulatory message from the Registrar, Jam, Professor Isaac. I write to express <coughs> felicitation of the management and the entire staff joint admission and matriculation board on this historic occasion of your 11th convocation ceremony and pre-convocation lecture of Abuad. I actually congratulate the founder, Chancellor Are Afe Babalola and his wife, <coughs> the board of trustees, Governing Council, Pro Chancellor, Senate, and the entire academic community of the university on this auspicious occasion. My felicitation also extend to the graduate for being found worthy in learning and character after years of rigorous academic activities. As the graduate transit into another phase in their life, I urge them to apply knowledge they have acquired to become more useful citizens of Nigeria. I admonish them to also hold fast to the ideas of university by contributing positively to its good name, brand, and development. At this juncture, permit me to particularly reaffirm the board's support and cooperation with Afe Babala University as both bodies share a common purpose which is that of fostering the development of education sector and the nation at large. It is this sincere wish of the board that, unit, that the university will continue to grow from strength to strength to uplift the nation to greater height. Please accept the assurances of the high regard of the board. Thank you 
Thank you. Thank you very much. I now have the honor to call on friends of Abward and visiting vice chancellors from various universities in Nigeria to deliver their goodwill messages. Can I call on the vice chancellor, Professor Smaranda Aularide, to please come to the podium? Thank you. As I call on the representative or the vice chancellor of Obafemi Awolowo University. There, yes, thank you. Lagos State University of Education. Bowen University, Iwo. Precious Cornerstone University, Ibado. Leeds City University, Ibado. Elizade University, Lara Moki. Federal University of Technology, Abel Kuta Futa. Committee of Vice Chancellors of Nigeria, Abuja, the Deputy Secretary General. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, Caleb University, Mota, Lagos. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, Lagos State University, Ojo, Lagos. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, Mountain Top mm -hmm. University. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, University of Ibadan. The Deputy Vice Chancellor, Academic Ekiti State University, Ado Ekiti. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, Bamidele Ola Olomilua. University. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, Kwara State University. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, Ibinedian University. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, River State University, Port Harcourt. Representative of the Vice Chancellor, Redeemers University, Ede. And representative of the Rector, Federal. Polytechnic at Doikiti. Thank you very much. We honor your presence. We appreciate your coming. Thank you, my Vice Chancellor. It's, it's time Chancellor sir It's time for us to listen to an address By our special guest of honor His Imperial Majesty, Obababatunde Adeyeye Wusi, or Jaja the Second, the only of Ife. Hadi Sisa. Today, I'm not going to stand on already established protocol, but for me, I'm going to uphold happiness for all the graduates.
If you are very happy today, let me hear a very big shout out from all graduates here today. If you are proud of yourself, if you are proud of this great university that we all look up to, and particularly you are proud of your parents for all what they've gone through thick and thin. Please, a real shout out to all yourselves there. Thank you very much. Your happiness will know no bounds. You will go out to this world from today and forth to conquer and also to establish giant strides in all your endeavors. Your Excellency, our Omolua Bipa Excellence, the Governor of Ikiti State. We are very proud of you. Thank you for all what you do. Thank you for honoring Baba Fe Babalola all the time. If I have my way, you said you were here last week. If I have my way, I will be coming to Abuad every day. And that's the truth. I can go on and on about Baba Fe Babalola, the great icon, irreplaceable icon. A force to reckon with, forward looking icon, energetic icon, transformative icon. I can go on and on about him. Please do more justice and give him a resounding round of applause. Baba, we are very proud of you. I am much more proud of you. And I will give myself this honor, because you've honored me before. I am one of the alumni of the university, but I'm now your number one cheerleader all over the world. I said it here, and I mean it. You should be one of the courses to be studied in this university and the world beyond. And that's the truth. Because out of nothing, you have built this great institution in which we are all very proud of. Institution that has already outlived you you are still in this world. Our prayer is for you to still stay in this world for us to continue to celebrate you every time. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for all your efforts. You are wonderful. Today, I spent four hours on the road. For you, I can spend 10 hours on the road. I can even spend the whole day. If it's in the name of coming to Abuad. Their parents and guardian, look at your fruits. Look at what they have become. The greatest joy should fill your hearts today. You have seen your handiwork, the transformation 
in everything they have been doing how they have passed through this university and how they are going to the world to better the lot of their roots your name your dignity and how they will go all over the world it will be very very rare again for them to gather like this because they will be scattered all over the world keep praying for them for them to be ambassadors and very good ambassadors not ordinary ambassadors of the family and also the institution that has actually made them who they are wherever you go please remember this institution remember what you can give back to this great institution remember how you can turn around this great institution everywhere you go to remember the institution for good remember the founding fathers of this institution how they have labored so hard the principal founder look at his age he's still very active still very dedicated still very focus driven how about you how old are you you are just starting your life use him as a point of contact for mentorship as Arole Odudua I still see him I revere him as one of the greatest mentors I have ever come across in my life because of who he is and what he is made of the last time I came here he will stand in front of you and give speeches for hours and give him a resounding round of applause please honor him please honor him clap for him please honor him it can, it can only be the grace of God thank you for all what you do for all of us clap for him very well today is your day Of this great icon I didn't hear you very well do you love this great icon if you love this great icon say amen if you love this great icon say amen if you love this great icon and you really want to show it if you love this great icon please say amen if you love this great icon please clap your hands if you love this great icon please clap your hands if you love this great icon and you really want to show it if you love this great icon please clap your hand if you love this great icon say baba fair if you love this great icon say baba fair if you love this great icon and you really want to show it if you love this great icon say baba fair shout amen clap for baba fair please a resounding applause for him for putting this university together for you to have this platform for you to graduate in peace 
are not in pieces, no ill health. You have come to this university and you have left in peace for the betterment of the society, for the betterment of yourself, and for the betterment of the country at large. God bless you. Go out there and explore. God bless you and God bless Abwa. day that the Lord has made, let us rejoice and be glad in it. On behalf of President and Vice Chancellor Dr. Mark Husbands of Trinity Western University in Canada, it is an immense honor for me to be with you here and to congratulate each one of you on this momentous achievement in the name of the Father, Son, and Spirit. To the founder, Are Afe Babalola, we are immensely grateful for your gift of this great university to each student, to their parents, to Nigeria, and to the world. To the distinguished wife and CEO of Abu Adventures, Yaye Are Modupe Babalola. The Vice Chancellor, Smaranda Olorinde. Friends, guests, dignitaries, parents, and of course, and most importantly, our dear graduates. Afi Babalola University is a shining star that rose on the horizon of Nigeria, 13 in the center of the sky above the country of Nigeria, are the embodiment of this great institution. And you are entrusted with both a great hope and a great responsibility. If the example of the founder is to be emulated, it is this. With great endowment, with great opportunity, comes great responsibility. You are the our arrows from the bow of Abuad. As the bow is drawn back, you as arrows go out into the world to pierce the darkness of the world with the light of truth, justice, peace, and hope. Beacons of light in a world of darkness. Authors of truth in a world of lies. Architects of hope in a world of despair. Arbitrators of reconciliation in a world of strife and messengers of peace in a world filled with conflict. Go forward, graduates of Afe Babalola University. Go forward, go well, and make your mark in this world. Nigeria, yes, the whole world needs you today, needs graduates like you today, 
more than ever. Grace and peace to each one of you. Amen. Confirmant of Honorary Doctorate Degrees. First on the list will be His Royal Highness Justice Sidi Bage Muhammad I, CFR, JSC Retired, the MA of Lafia Bari Bari, and the second will be Mrs. Victoria Dumola Samson, a business magnate and managing director of Bovis. And His Excellency Chief Eme Kayoku. GCON, GCBO, CFR, the former Secretary General of the Commonwealth. Your Excellency, sir, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Afe Babalala University, with the consent of Council and Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you His Royal Highness, Justice Sidi Bage Mohammed IV, CFR. JSC retired, Emir of Latvia, Bari Bari, who has been found worthy to be conferred on the degree of the Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa of the Afe Babalola University. Your Excellency, sir. <laughs> the University Orator to present the Honorary Graduate. University Orator, please. Thank you. The Chancellor, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a retired Justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria and one of Nigeria's foremost traditional rulers. His Lordship and His Royal Highness, Honorable Justice, Sidi Bage Muhammad I, CFR, JSC Retired, the 17th Emir Lafia Baribari, and Chairman, Nasarawa State Council of Chiefs. His Royal Highness was born on June 22, 1956. The thoroughbred jurist who had done the bar with dignity and occupied the bench with honor, candor, and character, was educated at the famous Amadou Bello University, Zaria, where he graduated with LLB honors in 1980, and the Nigerian Law School, where he graduated with BL in 1981, before he was called to the Nigerian bar. The revered Honorable Justice Sidi Bage was appointed a judge of the High Court of the FCT on November 9, 1992. In 1993, he was appointed chairman of the Robbery and Firearms Tribunal for the FCT, 1995 chairman of the Miscellaneous Offense Tribunal, Lagos, chairman election petitions tribunal, Taraba State, chairman election tribunal for Kano State, chairman election petitions tribunal, Abia State, chairman election petitions tribunal, Gombe State, chairman election petitions tribunal, Oyo State, before he was elevated as a justice of the Court of Appeal on December 10, 2007. The honoree is a firm and fervent believer in the rules. Who kept such rules to the letter? His lordship at various times served in Enugu, Ibadan, Benin, and Lagos divisions of the appellate court and attended several conferences. 
he is loved, adored, and admired by many. In no mean feat, his lordship was sworn in as a justice of the Supreme Court of Nigeria on December 5, 2016, and remained on the Supreme Court bench until ascending the throne of his forefathers as the Emir of Lafia Baribari on December 5, 2019. During his stint at the Apex Court, he did justice to all who bowed before him without fear or favor, affection or ill will. No wonder he earned the respect from all corners, from men at the bar, those on the bench, parties that bowed before him, and those who watched from the sidelines because he did not find it difficult through interpretation of law to remedy equities that had been wronged and strived to make inequality equal. He carried himself with grace, dignity, and integrity, the ornaments of the hallowed office of a judge, knowing fully well that one false sentence can do great harm to a nation or a generation. He is the chairman of the National State Council of Chiefs, chancellor of the Federal University of Tuoke Bielsa State, chancellor of the University of Meidugori Borno State, is a member of the National Judicial Council. Mr. Chancellor, sir. I present to you His Royal Highness, the 17th Emir of Lafia, Baribari, and Chairman Nasarawa State Council of Chiefs, His Lordship, and His Royal Highness, Honorable Justice, Sidi Bage Mohammed I, CFR, JSC retired, a firm believer in the rule of law, a jurist jurist, a seasoned administrator, a lover of quality and functional education, and one of Nigeria's foremost traditional rulers for admission to the doct degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa. Can we have silence, please? By the authority of Senate, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa of Afe Babala University. Congratulations. <laughs>
Chancellor, sir, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of Council and Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you Mrs. Victoria Adunola Sampson, a business magnet and a managing director of Bovis, who has been found worthy to be conferred on the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa of the Afe Babalola University at Duikiti. Mrs. <laughs> Sampson, please. I therefore call on the University Orator to present the Honorary Graduate. Mr. Chancellor, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, standing before you is Dr. Mrs. Victoria Adwola Samson, the God-fearing entrepreneur and managing director of Bovas and Company Limited. A leading marketer of petroleum products in Nigeria, a self-made lady who made it to the top through the use of her brains and two hands, and who has brought innovation, courage, and integrity to bear on our operations in the petroleum marketing subsector of the economy. A native of Iire, in Bolikbe local government of Shun State, Mrs. Samson was born on December 5, 1949. She attended Ilesha Grammar School before she advanced her self-development strategy into personal business where she has excelled as a frontline marketer with an unbending focus on delivering value with integrity, unclouded vision, teamwork, and uncommon professionalism. <laughs> Under her leadership, Bovas and Company Limited, which she started in 1990, has achieved great milestones by growing the retail arm of the business from one service station to 143 by August 2022. She has also led the company to achieve the following and more, an establishment of liquefied petroleum gas plant with additional skids in 26 locations, employment of over 1,500 Nigerians on a full-time basis. She has done so well for Bovas Oil and Gas Limited by serving the good of the Nigerian community and humanity, because the management and operations of Bovers are rooted in integrity, accountability, and patriotism. Bovers sells its products at regulated and official prices when other marketers are selling theirs at cutthroat prices. This has in turn made the company a household name in the oil and gas industry in Nigeria today. Mrs. Samson owns the Texaco Petroleum franchise and emerged the Texaco Nigeria PLC first Nigerian to win the highly competitive Texaco Latin America and West Africa award for best overall dealer. A multiple award winner, Mrs. Samson has won the following awards amongst others. Nigeria Presidential Award for Top 100 Businesses, Award of Integrity by Anti-Corruption Awardees Organization of Nigeria, Outstanding Community Service Award from the Nigerian Medical Association, GMD NNPC Award for Excellence, and Best Petrol Dealer of the Year by the Department of Petroleum Resources. She is a holder of professional diploma in marketing and certificate from Harvard Business School. Dr. Samson is also a beneficiary of the Chief Executive Program, IESC Barcelona, Spain. Mr. Chancellor, sir, I present to you Dr. Mrs. Victoria Adwola Samson, a lover of quality education, a consummate entrepreneur who has brought decency, innovation, courage, and integrity to bear 
on our ways of doing business in the petroleum marketing in a society like ours where many people cut corners to succeed for admission to the degree of doctor of letters delete honoris causa Authority of the Senate, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Letters, Honoris Causa of Akebola University. <laughs> Chancellor, sir, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Afeba Balala University, with the consent of Council and Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you Chief Emeka Anyoko, GCON, GCVO, CFR, former Secretary General of the Commonwealth, who has been found worthy to be conferred on the degree of Doctor of Letters Honoris Causa of the Afeba Balola University, Adwekiti. I therefore call on the University Orator to present the honorary graduate. Your Excellency, Sir, Chief Emeka Ayoko. Can you step forward? Thank you very much, sir. Mr. Chancellor, sir. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Chief Eliaza Chukwe Meka Anyoko, a citizen of the world, though of Nigerian descent, a consummate diplomat, elected the third Secretary General of the Commonwealth by the heads of government in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia in 1989. Because of his sterling qualities, he served for two terms of five years each as Secretary General of the Commonwealth of 54 nations between 1990 and 2000. The former SG is a man of commendable candor and incisive intellect. Chief Emme Kanyoko was born at Obose in 1933. He was educated at the University College Ibadan, where he studied classics as a college scholar, graduating with a London University Honours in 1959. The seasoned diplomat was also Nigeria's foreign minister in 1983, before the military coup d'etat on December 31, 1983. Chief Emeka Anyoku has had extensive international exposure and service. He was, among many things, a distinguished visiting fellow at the Center for Study of Global Governance, London School of Economics, 
president of the Royal Commonwealth Society with headquarters in London. In appreciation of his meritorious services to the nation, the Commonwealth and humanity, Chief Anyoko has been decorated with the following honors and more. Grand Commander of the Order of the Niger, GCON, Commander of the Federal Republic, CFR, Grand Cross of the Royal Victorian Order from Her Majesty the Queen of England. In acknowledgement of his immense contributions to education, the University of London in 2003 established a professorial chair in his name, the Emeka Anyoko Professor of Commonwealth Studies at its Institute of Commonwealth Studies. A man of global acclaim, Chief Anyoko is the holder of 32 honorary doctorate degrees from top universities in Britain, Canada, Ghana, Nigeria, the Republic of Ireland, Switzerland, South Africa, and Zimbabwe. <laughs> Chief Emeka Anyoko is married to Ebola Olubu Misholanke, and together they have one daughter and three sons. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chancellor Sir, I present to you the many-sided multi-talented chief Emeka Ayoko, a decent and polished gentleman, a global citizen, a diplomat of global acclaim, a lover of quality and functional education for admission to the degree of Doctor of Letters, Dilate Honoris Causa. Your Excellency, sir. Chancellor. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, by the authority of the Senate, I confer on you the degree of Doctor of Letters and the of Afibala University. Congratulations. Chancellor, sir, I will respectfully call on, the, on His Royal Highness, Justice Sidi Bage Mohammed the First, CFR, GSC retired, to speak on behalf of the honorees. He's an alumnus of Afe Babalola University. Kindly give him a round of applause. Your Royal Highness, sir.
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Your Excellency the Executive Governor of Ekiti State This state is our friend I have been very close my very close friend had been the immediate past governor of Ekiti State Fire me had been a friend for a very long period of time as a result of that it is home to us. Today, I can say this is one of my happiest moments of life. Today is one of the greatest honor that I have received in my life. It's very difficult for me to express what I feel and how I feel it. But I'm asked to respond on behalf of those distinguished Nigerians that we have been honored alongside with me today. I don't know how to express it, but believe me, the founder of this university, it has been said the best in Nigeria I said the best in Africa, of course he has joined the global community as one of the best. I want to say something, that sometime in the year 1977, I think it was my first year in the law faculty at the Amarivello University. I went into the university bookshop, and as I was going around, I saw a book. And what was the title of that book? Why not the best? It was written by the former American president, Jimmy Carter. So I picked that book, and I read that book. And I kept that book for a long period of time of my life. Why not the best? It's a yardstick of life. Whatever that you said to do in life, put it ahead of you and say why not the best. Today, we are witnessing why not the best. What we have here, everyone has accepted this is the best, and why not the best. I met the founder of this great institution. We met in our area of where we always see, we quarrel, we agree, and disagree. I met him in the court. And I remember precisely, because he was not really coming to the high court of the FCT, where I had served. But in 1999, we were appointed chairman of various tribunals across the country. And most of those matters, at that time, he was going over from one place to another. And I said, as soon as we assembled in court, I said, appearances, please. He stood up and said, my name is Afi Babalola S.A.N. What came onto my mind? I was meeting him for the first time. But his name had gone ahead of him in the legal profession. Today, we are celebrating the best, and why not the best? We are so proud of him in our profession. Indeed, he's one of our best. All of us that had interacted with him in the court will say something. His very gentle and noble approach to his matters. If you have the opportunity of having the briefs which he will file before you in court. You are done. Because the great thing is that most of your work is done for you. If you have a very good brief, then a good judgment follows. I want to thank you today that most of those matters you have seen in the law report that were written in our name. You did most of the work. Because it was from your brief, those wonderful briefs, very rich, 
in content. Our work was made easy. Sir, I want to say thank you. Firstly, for your life. Again, for what the Almighty has done to you. I said to you yesterday that you are one person that I'll continue to admire throughout my life. I wish that my retirement will be like yours, but it is different because my calling now is different from yours. <laughs> but we thank God for you and for your life and for giving you the opportunity of life to put on this. There, it cannot be anything better. On behalf of the very eminent two there seated that we are honored today, we say this is one of the greatest days of our life. I will continue to remember this day until the end of me. Thank you very much, sir, for this honor. We never take it for granted. We'll continue to cherish it. We will, I promise, remain ambassadors of Abwa. Wherever we are, we are part of this family. Whatever that has to do with this institution, we assure you we'll be part of it, we'll stand for it wherever. With the assurances that the name Abwa, from now and ever, will continue to push it forward. Forward ever with this great institution. May the Almighty continue to protect you. And of course, we also talk about Madam, who is behind us. All of this success we talk about. Thank you very much. We want to thank all of them that have supported this institution for becoming what it is today. We have the Pro Chancellor sir, and all the others. I wouldn't say I've forgotten you, the Vice Chancellor, because we were meeting with her when I was at the Court of Appeal in Biden Division. She will appear before us, and I will ask her, can you repeat your name? Because when you say it, I don't get it well, so that I can put it down. Yesterday I asked her, please, can you now say it again? Because each time you have to spell her name before I can get it right. Thank you very much, and today you are here. I want to say thank you to everyone. Your Excellency, thank you, and thank you, because I remember the year 2004, I came to Ekiti to preside over an election tribunal. And I know what Ado then was, and I saw Ado yesterday, different from what we had seen. There was one hotel that was so famous then, it was called Sadiat Hotel. Each time we come, that is the hotel that we stay as members of the tribunal. But today, thank you, sir, for this contribution, this wonderful institution. Ado is now one of the best in the country. I've seen flyovers, I've seen this, I've seen that. Thank you for the good governance of the state. I thank all of you for listening, and may the Almighty bless you all. Thank you. Admission to higher degrees, PhD, master, postgraduate diploma. Chancellor, sir, the following graduating students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afeba Balala University and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in their various colleges. 
Will the graduating students in the College of Postgraduate Studies, Doctor of Philosophy, please rise and remain standing. I now call on the Provost, College of Postgraduate Studies, to present the graduates. Provost, College of Postgraduate Studies, please. Chancellor Sir, on behalf of the Board of Trustees at Febabalala University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy, who have successfully completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examinations, and found worthy both in character and in learning, whose names appear on the list to be awarded degree of Doctor of Philosophy of Afe Babalola University. Now, file out and take a bow. We have 72 of them. I think we deserve a hand of applause. 72 of them. All of them, all of you, file out. File out. Gentlemen, we've come to where and why we have assembled here now. On the recommendation of the University Senate, and by my authority as the Chancellor of this University, I admit you all to the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy of Afebala University. Congratulations. Well, uh, thank you, sir. You might pass past again. The Chancellor's handshake will be extended. And it's assumed that you've had it. Congratulations, congratulations. Can we have some music for them, please, to file back?
Admission to higher degrees. Master. Chancellor, sir. The following students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afeb Abalola University and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the master's degree of their colleges. Will the graduating students in the College of Postgraduate Studies, Master, please rise and remain standing. Provost, College of Postgraduate Studies, present your candidates in the College for Postgraduate Studies for the award of master's degree. Chancellor, sir. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Afeba Walola University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed their approved courses of study, passed the prescribed examinations and found worthy both in character and in learning, whose names appear on the list to be awarded the master's degrees, master's degrees in engineering, law, medicine, and health sciences, sciences and social and management sciences of Afe Babalola University. Okay. Mm. On the recommendation of the University Senate and by my authority as the Chancellor of this University, I admit you all to the various master degrees. Congratulations. <laughs> I have the privilege to call on two distinguished, uh, distinguished uh, students in this category who had a uh, CGP 5.0, and I want them to file out here and take a bow. Ayori De Ebenezer, Adebolu Ololade. Congratulations, congratulations, take your seat. Admission to first degrees. Chancellor, sir, the following graduating students The following graduating students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the postgraduate diploma of their colleges. Will the graduating students in the College of Postgraduate Studies, postgraduate diploma, please rise and remain standing. I now call on the Provost of the College of Postgraduate Studies to present the graduating students in the college for the award of the Postgraduate Diploma Degrees. 
provoça. Yeah. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of the Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved courses of study, passed the prescribed examinations, and found worthy both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list to be awarded the degree of postgraduate diploma of Afebabalola University. Thanks, Lord. On the recommendation of the Vice Senate, and by my authority as the Chancellor of this university, I admit to all the degree of postgraduate diploma. Congratulations. <laughs> Chancellor, sir, the following graduating students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of their college, College of Engineering. Will the graduating students in the College of Engineering please rise and remain standing? College of Engineering. This is your minute, your hour. I now call on the Provost, College of Engineering, to present the graduating students in the college for the award of the degrees. Provost, College of Engineering, please. Chancellor, sir, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Ave Babalola University, with the consent of the students of this university, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy who have fulfilled the requirement of the university, completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examinations, and found worthy both the character and in learning, whose names appear on the list to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Engineering of Abebaola University in Aeronautical and Astronautical Engineering Biomedical, Chemical, Civil, Computer, Electrical and Electronics, Mechanical, Mechatronics, and Petroleum Engineering. On the recommendation of the reverse Senate, and by my authority as Chancellor of this university, I admit you all to the degrees of Bachelor of Engineering. Congratulations. <laughs> Before I go on to read the first class, the list of first class, I want to inform this gathering that this is the first time the university is producing the graduating students in aeronautical and astronautical engineering. I now read the list of the first class graduates to come up out 
and take a bow. Unwoyen Divine Obodo Joseph Egbe Amanda Oye Raji Umi Sama Samson Sovia Itua Ojiji Long John Sule Bakare Asuka Odekwo Alonsa Ayedun Amadi Duru Awokbemi Shima Egunwe Oguntumi Ologunlagba Ashade Alabo John Olotu Ale Alaba Uzma Umo Modi Olime Antoni Adejo Princewell Arogu Mati Ejim Kasie Ejim Ewezu Obi Obuoha That is the best graduating student in engineering Oshelu Okopa Olawoyi Sadiq Ologo Jere Efe Chuaib Uma Uso Uwozun Adeze College of Law. Chancellor, sir, the following graduating students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy both in character and in learning to be admitted to the degree of their college. Will the graduating students in the College of Law please rise and remain standing? College of Law. I now call on the Provost College of Law to present the candidates in the college for the award of the degrees. Provost, sir. Chancellor, sir, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Abefei Babala University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy, who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved courses of study, passed the prescribed examination and found worthy both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Laws of Afe Babalola University. On the recommendation of the University Senate, and my authority as Chancellor of this university, I admit you all to the degree of Bachelor of Laws. Congratulations. <laughs> class, 26 of you in first class to file out as your name is mentioned to come and uh, take a bow here. Adeboi, Ademola, Adeniji, Afolabi, Anirebe, Ajayoba, Anyawu, Chikwenye, Chikuka, Emeka, Fahiminu, Hamzad, Idugwe, Igbe, 
Jato, Lambert, Lolo Marie, Imbadiwe, Ni Lola, Ojo, Olawi, Oroyoroni, Solomon, Omialo, Uwagbe, and Abdulaziz Adokwari. before you, sir, are our first class uh, graduates. Congratulations. Take a bow again. You may file back to your seats. College of Medicine and Health Sciences. Chancellor, sir, the following students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of their college. Will the graduates in the College of Medicine and Health Sciences please rise and remain standing? College of Medicine and Health Sciences. I now call on the Provost, College of Medicine and Health Sciences, to present the candidates in the College of Medicine and Health Sciences for the award of the degrees. Provost, College of Medicine and Health Sciences. Hello, sir. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Afeba Balola University, with the consent of the Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good causes to whom I stand proxy, who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examination, and found worthy, both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Human Nutrition, in Human Anatomy, in Human Nutrition and Dietetics, in Human Physiology, in Pharmacology and Therapeutics, in Nursing, in Medical Laboratory Sciences, and in Bachelor of Medicine and Bachelor of Surgery. On the recommendation of the University Senate, and by my authority as the Chancellor of this university, I admit you all to the various degrees. Congratulations. Thank you. I now call on first class graduates to file out and take a bow. All of you, 15 students with first class degrees. First class in nursing sciences, Abe Sarah, Ake Tunde Dolapo, 
Ayesi, Belama, Ezika, Fajano, Ike Mefuna, Oyelade, First Class in Medical Laboratory Science. Zubair, Okoye, Onoja. First class in human nutrition and dietetics. Oluwa Damilare, Salu. The Chancellor, sir, these are the students graduating students in the college with first class degree, they will now take their bow and file back. Please take your bow. Chancellor, sir, the following students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afeb Abalola University and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degrees of their college. Will the graduates in the College of Social and Management Sciences please rise and remain standing? Social and Management Sciences, please rise and remain standing. I now call on the Provost College of Social and Management Sciences to present the candidates in the College of Social and Management Sciences for the award of the degrees. Provost College of SMS, please. Chancellor, sir, on behalf of the Board of Trustees of Havala University, with the consent of the Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy, who have fulfilled the requirement of the university completed the approved courses of study, passed the precise examination, and found worthy both in character and in learning, whose names appear on the list, on this list, to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Banking and Finance, Business Administration, Economics, Intelligence and Security Studies, International Relations and Diplomacy, Media and Communication Studies, Peace and Conflict Studies, Political Science, Tourism and Events Management, Sociology, Social Justice, and Accounting of Afeba Balola University. Thanks, On the recommendation of the University Senate and by my authority as a Chancellor of this University, I admit you all to the various degrees. Congratulations. <laughs> I wish to call the first class students in the College of Social and Sciences to file out and take a bow.
Economics, Chobo Wale, Uzuma, Bilimen, Fiwa, Maduka, Asala, Fadipe, Mustafa, and Fabras Ezema. Accounting, Chima D, Alaya D, Saliu, Isuchuku, Ekarika, and Owo. For business administration, Adeshina and Aguda. For media and communication studies, Ukalom, Adebola, Yakubu, Olatunji, Uzo, Ngozu. Okay, for media. For finance, Obots. Joyce, eBay, Johnson, Obina, eBay, and eBay Press. For peace and conflict, Azim, Chukuf Naya. For intelligence studies, we have uh, Chukun, Chukun Noyelu and Mugu. Then for sociology, we have uh, Enebeli and Ezekiel Arts. Then for performing arts, we have Duru and Uwola. Chancellor, I present to you the first class students from the College of Social and Sciences. Please take a bow and then fight back to your seats. Congratulations. College with the Golden Sun. Chancellor, sir, the following students whose names appear in the convocation brochure have fulfilled the requirements of the statutes and regulations of Afe Babalola University and have been found worthy, both in character and in learning, to be admitted to the degree of their college. Will the graduates in the College of Science please rise and remain standing? I now call on the Provost College of Sciences to present the candidates in the College of Sciences for the conferment of the degrees. Provost, College of Sciences, please. Chancellor, sir. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Afe Babalola University, with the consent of Senate of the University, I have the honor to present to you the graduating students standing and those absent for good cause to whom I stand proxy who have fulfilled the requirements of the university, completed the approved course of study, passed the prescribed examination, 
and found worthy, both in character and in learning, whose names appear on this list to be awarded the degree of Bachelor of Science in Biochemistry, Computer Science, Biotechnology, Agricultural Science, Petroleum Chemistry, Industrial Chemistry, Geology, Human Biology, Microbiology, and the first out of graduate in architecture of Afe Babalola University. Silence, please. On the recommendation of the University Senate and by my authority as a Chancellor of the, this University, I admit you all to the various master degrees. Congratulations. What's up, <laughs> Chancellor, sir, I will call out the names of the graduates of first class in the College of Sciences. Please file out and take a bow. I will start with the best graduate student in the College of Sciences, and uh, coincidentally, the overall best graduating student for the class of 2023 from the Department of Agricultural Sciences by name Aronsi Ola Grace Oluwadun Singh. <laughs> Computer Science, Osai Kwonwoha Amanda, Udoma Unkamobong, Bakare Kausara, Gani Yukolako, Collins Sarima, Cothrell Hana, Hanya Sharon Kelvin. Department of Geology, Adelaja Oluwa Fisayo, Ayodele Angela. From the Department of Industrial Chemistry, E.K. Egunu Marvelous Chinelo. From Microbiology, Iko Omola Tomisi Elizabeth. My father, sir. Chancellor, sir, I present to you first class graduates in the College of Sciences. Take a bow. Take a bow. If I were you in this hall, I will not go out. Please file back to your seats. I will not go out at all. Will all graduating students rise and remain standing? All rise and remain standing. Can we maintain silence in this auditorium, please? If you remember clearly, about four or five years ago, as the case may be, at your matriculation in this hall, I asked you to leave your tassels on your right hand side. And we all prayed for you that in four or five years time, you will be asked to change your tassels to your left hand side, making you a bona fide graduate of Afeba Balola University. Will you now change your tassels to the left hand side? Congratulations. Go into the world and let yourself be known. Once again, I say congratulations. As I call on the overall best graduating students, Aronsi Ola Grace Oluwada Unsi to deliver a speech on behalf of all graduating students. 
Aronsi Ola Grace Oluwa Dansi Please sit down Ekiti State, Nigeria, the Chancellor and his amiable wife, Pro Chancellor, the Vice Chancellor, the top management of Abuad, Senate members, Provost and Directors, Royal Fathers, other dignitaries here seated, dedicated and compassionate parents, graduating students, the media, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me great honor to stand before you today on this special occasion to deliver this valedictory speech on behalf of my colleagues. Let me use this medium to congratulate my fellow graduates for achieving a milestone in the history of our lives. I'm filled with joy and profound gratitude to the almighty God. On behalf of my colleagues, I appreciate our parents and guardians who labor day and night to support our education and well-being to get us thus far. I pray your labor would not go in vain in Jesus' name. Amen. To my parents in particular, Professor and Professor Mrs. Aron Siola, this journey wouldn't have been possible without your doggedness and belief in me. You have always guided me well and supported my vision. I say a big thank you. Permit me to go down memory lane to my secondary school days in Deeper Life High School, where they instilled in me the desire and right attitude for distinction, giving me a solid foundation on which Abwad built a great mansion of skills, knowledge, and experiences. To so this great Citadel Abwad, it's indeed been a wonderful journey. On behalf of my colleagues, we are indeed grateful to the Abwad community the management, the staff and students. They have all been part of our stories and memories. Abwad has provided my fellow graduates and I a place to foster our intelligence and be of relevance in the world outside the classroom. We remain alumni of Abwad and shall continue to represent the institution well in our future endeavors. Starting from the management, the founder, and the Chancellor, Are Afe Babalola, S A N O F R C O N F N I A L S L N I D F C I A R B. Indeed, a man of vision, whose vision begat this great citadel of knowledge and has brought us thus far, a paragon of excellence, a true inspiration, and a living legend. Continue to enrich the fabric of Nigerian society. Thank you, sir. The wife of the Chancellor, Yeyea Remudupe Babalola, of course, Beside a successful man is a great woman. Thank you very much, Ma, for being a pillar of support in this vision. Thank you so much, Ma. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Smaranda Olaride, the Registrar, the Borsa, the Librarian, we are grateful for your unforgettable impact. To my college, College of Sciences, starting from, starting from the Provost, Professor Oluwa Sheyadeyemo, the members of staff, as well as students. It's been great five years with you, and every moment has been memorable. To the best department in the world, the Department of Agricultural Sciences, a home away from home, 
starting from the program coordinator, Dr. Olu Femi Dayo Olagbende, Professor Mrs. F. Obamiboye, and my supervisor, Mr. Abolade Adeyemo, and other wonderful lecturers and non-academic staff in the department. I cannot imagine my life journey without you. You've indeed been instrumental in molding my colleagues and I in preparation for the future. Thank you for being intentional in ensuring that we become the best of ourselves. We are eternally grateful. To my colleagues, the set of 2023, congratulations. This is my message for you. Life indeed can be as predictable as it gets, bringing all forms of spice, from sweet to sour, spicy to bland. Sometimes what we plan go our way, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes what we don't plan don't go our way. And sometimes they do. Sometimes I feel people are so quick to say, when life gives you lemon, make lemonades out of it. Oh, please. I don't even know what lemonade tastes like. Not to talk of, and I know some of you here are just like me. Well, some of you might know what lemonade tastes like, but don't even know how to make it. Well, life can just be like that. You just know about how sad the present is, and you have no hopes of the future. Sometimes you have a glimpse of it, but you don't even know how to go from where you are to the future. Oh, talking of pressure, how much more can you get these days? When you see your mates, friends, colleagues achieve their dreams at a young age, and it seems like your progress is either stagnant or slow. However, who on planet Earth made the standards? Well, I feel we are just ungrateful and forgetful. Oh, how quick are we to forget that our present was once our prayer for the future? Or do you think we got here on just, just on our own? God, our friends, family, lecturers, authorities, oh, even the ones you forget. Security officers, cafeteria workers, sanitary officers, hostel workers, they've all made our story. Not forgetting those who we gained and sadly, those who we lost along the way. I humbly request a minute of silence for those who we lost along the way. May God comfort their families and may their soul rest in perfect peace. I may not know your mind. A lot could be going there. Perhaps is it fear? Is it fear of the future? Or is it fear if you have a picture of your future? Or is it fear even if your picture is in that future? My question is why? Why the fear? You've come this far. So what's the fear about? As for me, I've determined not to fear because I know who holds my future and I know who holds my hands. And of course, yes, that's Jesus. And he has told me I would unravel beautifully. So who's holding your future? Who's your assurance? Indeed, the journey continues. It doesn't end here. So, one, two, buckle your shoes. Three, four, keep moving. If you can't fly, you run. If you can't run, you walk. And if you can't walk, you crawl. But by all means, keep moving. It's, it's true that the world doesn't wait for you. But the world awaits you. So keep moving, but at God's pace. And at the end, it's definitely going to be due visit. God did it. I pray and look forward to you unraveling beautifully. Thank you and God bless you. Celebrating her, please. She represented you very well. Keep, keep celebrating her. That's around the other place. Oluwa dance. Thank you very much. Time 
Miss Fagan, I will call on the president of the Alumni Society, Dr. Shagun Ilubusi, to come and administer the Alumni Pledge. Dr. Shagun Ilubusi, please. The founder, Are Affair Babalola, SAN. Please permit me to stand on the already established protocol because of time. May all the graduating students rise for their alumni pledge, please. Kindly turn your broker to page 146 and say after me. When in 1896, please say after me, please. When in 1896, the first marathon was run in Greece. The people of Antem completed the ceremony by taking a pledge. Today, the 21st day of October, 2023, at the conclusion of the 11th Convocation Ceremonies, I, please your name, a graduate of Afe Babalola University, in the best tradition, of a distinguished alumnus. We remain a worthy ambassador of Abwad, crusader and agent of reformation in university education. In Nigeria and beyond, we revile and obey the law of the land. Preach about philosophy of industry, determination and integrity. Stand up for more challenges of our time. Invest financially in my Ama Malta and employ the Abad teachings to create value in all my pursuits. endeavors, progress, and greater glory of my alma mater, my country, and humanity. So help me God. Congratulations. May I humbly request the presence of uh, three distinguished honorary awardees to this side of the of the hall. Please, we want to present to you an award from the Abad Alumni Association. Thank you very much, sirs and ma. On behalf of Afe Babalola University Alumni Association, this award is hereby presented to Dr. Mrs. Victoria Adwola Samson, Managing Director of Bovas and Company Limited, a leading marketer of petroleum products in Nigeria. In confirmation that the awardee has been confirmed as an honorary member of the Alumni Association, and also in recognition of our numerous contributions to the Alumni Association and the nation on this day, 21st October 2023. Congratulations, ma'am. On 
behalf of Afe Babalola University Alumni Association, this award is presented to Chief Emeka Anyoku, GCON, GCVO, CGRO, a two-term Secretary General of the Commonwealth, in confirmation that the awardee has been confirmed as an honorary member of the Abad Alumni Association, and also in recognition of his numerous contribution to the association and the nation on this day, 21st October 2023. On behalf of Afeb Babalola University Alumni Association, this award is presented to His Royal Highness Honorable Justice C.D. Bagia Muhammad I, CFRO, JSC Retired, FCI, FCIM, FHNN, the 17th Emir Lafia Bari Bari, and Chairman National State Council of Chief, in confirmation that the awardee has been confirmed as an honorary member of the Abad Alumni Association and also in recognition of his numerous contribution to the association and the nation on this day, 21st October 2023. Congratulations, sir. Founder and his beautiful wife, please may I have you stand here for an award. On behalf of Afe Babalola University Alumni Association, this award is presented to Are Afe Babalola SCN OFRO CON in recognition of your numerous contributions to the association. We are proud of you, sir. On this day, the 21st October 2023. My beautiful Yeye Are, on behalf of Afe Babalola University Alumni Association, this award is hereby presented to Yeye Are Modupe Babalola, FS, FSM, FNIM, in recognition of your numerous contribution to the Abad Alumni Association. We are proud of you, Mommy. On this day, the 21st October 2023. Congratulations, Mommy. We love you. Lastly, on our list, our Vice Chancellor, Professor Elizabeth Asparanda Olan Rine. On behalf of Afe Babalola University Alumni Association, this award is hereby presented to Professor Elizabeth Asparanda Olan Rine, the Vice Chancellor of Afe Babalola University. In recognition of your numerous contributions to the association, we are proud of you, Mommy. On this day, the 21st October 2023. Congratulations, ma. The Pro Chancellor, please, may you join us and the Governor of Equity State, can you join us in taking a group photograph? Please, sir. I will not leave this hall now. I will sit quietly until the end of the ceremony. If I were you, I will sit quietly until the end of the ceremony.
sense of gratitude to God and on behalf of the founder and president of Afe Babalola University, Yeye Are Modukwe Babalola, our amiable mother, it gives me a great pleasure and a sense of profound accomplishment to stand before you today as we celebrate the remarkable achievements of the 2023 graduating class of this great institution, Deus Fesit. You want to give yourselves a round of applause. Deus Fesit. This convocation ceremony is the evidence of tenacity, commitment, and hard work of our standing graduates. Today we make a moment to reflect upon the incredible journey that has led us to this event. The pursuit of education is a noble endeavor, one that requires unwavering determination and the willingness to face challenges head on. It is not merely about acquisition of knowledge, but the transformation of minds, the nurturing of talents, and the development of character. These graduating students before us have demonstrated these qualities in abundance, and today we applaud their exceptional accomplishments. Give yourselves a round of applause. I want to express my heartfelt appreciation to all our parents and guardians in attendance. This young people's journey has come a long way because of your sacrifices, your encouragement, and your undying conviction in their potential. Similarly, my deepest gratitude goes to the dedicated faculty and staff members of Afe Babalola University. I commend your commitment to excellence which has not only enriched the academic performance of these young ones, but also instilled in them a passion for lifelong learning. You have played an indispensable role in shaping the future of leaders of our society. My beloved graduates, remember we met four or five years ago, and we are still here together. You are going into the world. As you step out into the world, remember the privilege of education and the responsibility it carries. You are now part of a legacy of thinkers, innovators, and leaders who have power to shape the course of history. With this power comes a duty to be a force for positive change, to champion justice, and to uplift those who may not have had the same opportunities. In conclusion, let this day serve as a beacon of hope and inspiration for all of us. Dear graduates, as you leave the hallowed halls of this great institution, know that you carry a piece of it with you. You are now ambassadors of the values and ideals we hold dear. Stay connected, continue to learn, and let your actions be a testament to the transformative power of education. You are poised to make a significant impact on the world. Congratulations once again to the graduating class of 2023, and may your journey forward be filled with success, fulfillment, and prosperity. May you leave an indelible mark on the world. I wish you all a safe trip back to your destinations in Jesus' name. We love you. Deus Fesit. Chancellor, sir, may I with respect invite you to declare the ceremony Closed. Sorry, Daddy. No mistake today. Oh, no. Silence. Silence. Ladies and gentlemen. The event of today shall be the history of tomorrow, and you are part of the history. Congratulations. I hereby declare this ceremony closed. Go for your certificate with the registrar.
Ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate your patience all along. In rounding off, ladies and gentlemen, we will take both the Abbott Anthem and the National Anthem. After we, the procession will leave the hall in reverse order. Technical team, let's have Abbott Anthem followed closely by the National Anthem. I will round it all off. Thank you. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the procession will leave the hall in River Soda. Please remain calm. God bless you. Abu Adban, please. Mm -hmm. 